elementary school, most of us were taught that the Benjamin Franklin discovered the electricity by tying a key to a kite and standing in a thunderstorm. Sure, Franklin is believed to have completed his lighting experiment and he wouldn't was the first to do so, nor he was the first scientist to study a charged particle. True. Further, Benjamin Franklin became interested in the field of electricity on his friends and the fellow scientist Peter Collins and sent him an electricity tube. Franklin investigated how charged objects interacted and came to the conclusion that lightning as merely a huge spark that was created by charged force. It was during this time, in 1750, that the Franklin proposed an experiment that would draw lightning through a 30-foot rod. Now, but Benjamin Franklin did not feel that he would get his conductor high enough into the clouds to do any good. Instead, in 1752, the device and new plan sending a kite into the air. But he also knew that if the lightning strikes him, he would die. But usually, he tied the kite to a big rock and when the lightning strikes him, he came out and tested the rod with the electroscope whether it had any chills or not. Found that electroscope starts repelling and this shows that the lightning have turns. And then he turns the rod with a key and he was so fascinated to see a brilliant thing that when he brought the key closer to the rod, it started sparking. And Brendan Franklin, however, discovered that the lightning is just indeed of a spark, but it's a big spark. Without have been dying. He didn't ever perform the experiment. He just got a statement that if you fly a guy and tie a key on it, and after some time when the lightning hits it, the person may get spark or the person may see spark on the key. But the main thing is that he just gave a statement with it. He didn't ever told that it was a true fact. That is why he didn't die.